Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are installing new like I guess aero pieces kind of they're kind of just like extensions to the current car. Are these ricer mods? Absolutely they are but honestly you know it the car is pretty pretty legitimate so like you know tossing some rice shouldn't hurt too much. There's supposed to be one more item which I would have put there but that's not coming today. It's coming tomorrow. Anyway um yeah, so basically I'm just fitting new arrow pieces. These are just like skirt extensions. Uh, well, to be specific, these are extensions for the rear of the, of the uh, um, 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 uh, side skirt. And these are extensions for the bumper. And then once we get the front side skirt um, extensions, when I say front side skirt, it's like the front of the side skirt. It's like right there. This piece is going back there, and the front one goes right there. You, you, you get the point. And then once that's installed, then I may put these shark fin pieces back on. They've been off the car for a little while. I've already wrapped these because obviously these are going on the side skirts. They should be wrapped. Kind of a pain to wrap, actually, because the, the plastic they use, like, they coat it in something, so it's super smooth. So the wrap doesn't really stick very well. But... These ones, I'm not really sure if I'm going to wrap these or not. I'm going to test fit these on the car first, and then we shall see from there. That's pretty much what we're doing today. Eh, it it kind of worked. So, it's installed now. It's just, I've put a screw here, a screw there which you can see, and a screw on the bottom. And that's pretty much it. And then some adhesive, although not very strong adhesive, admittedly. Uh, but that, some adhesive on the back there as well. Uh, so that's pretty much that. I don't think it looks too bad here. Let's get the jack out of the way. Bit ricey, but oh well, who cares? I'm gonna test out the rear bumper um, Tings, what are these called? I don't even know them myself. Uh, there's something. This looks like it's for the right. I need the one for the left. Because I'm doing the left installation. They give you a couple of different options, actually. You can have it poking out like this. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go for this option. Uh, tucked in a little bit more. And I'll line it up with the bumper. This is kind of the final look-ish. Um, really, it's just adding bits of plastic to the bumper and the side skirts. Obviously, it's just for cosmetics, but still looks pretty cool anyway. Uh, and, I don't know, gives the car like a lower profile, kind of. Uh, anyway, this is what it looks like, kind of from this angle. I know, I'm sorry, I, I haven't really been filming much of the actual installation, but really there's nothing to film. It's just screw, screw, a little bit of drilling, that's it. That's, that's all there is. There's not much to film in the first place. Uh, so I'm going to get that cleaned up, and then I'll complete the install, and then we'll get the front ones installed this week when that comes by, so I'll see you then. What it be, what it do, so, uh, yeah, basically, I got the front pieces. Yeah, they're just like this. I'll show you how, uh, they fit onto the car tomorrow, but since it, oh, I can't even show you time, can I? Since it is 9.51, I'm just gonna film me wrapping these. Uh, I'm really only gonna wrap this face, the bottom doesn't need to be wrapped, and this piece here that attaches to the very front of the side skirt doesn't need to be wrapped either. So I'm only wrapping this sort of face here and that should be it. Tomorrow we'll get these uh, mounted onto the car which should be a pretty easy process. Uh, I've got these two pieces of wrap that are cut to hopefully fit over that. I need my flattening tool though. Pretty much just like what I did over the summer. 
yeah not too difficult to do I've gotten much better at wrapping all right that's sorted now we got this one and piece number two complete it is that easy once you've done it a couple times I will install these when I get back from class tomorrow right it's the next day it's bright outside kind of it's going to be dark within an hour we're just gonna install these pieces real quick it shouldn't take more than a few minutes obviously I showed wrapping these uh, just last night so should be pretty simple install we're, we'll just use the four bolts uh, and, and that should be it Okay, so here's kind of what the car looks like now. I'm just gonna do a quick little walk around. As you can see, this is the piece that we just installed. And as you can see, this side needed a little bit of tape. The other side didn't, or this side does, but that's okay. It, it, it looks kind of shitty, but it's all right. Why does this side look so crooked? Does the other side like this? This side looks more flush. Now, continue walking around, you'll see that I cracked the lip. Actually, it's been cracked since July, but I don't know if I've shown it yet. But obviously, I just showed this side and that. And then these are the two, what are they called, winglets? Are they called winglets? Don't really know, but those are installed as well. Experimenting a little bit, because I went on eBay and I found some stuff and I just wanted to try it out just take a look how it looks this is pretty much the overall video that's that's pretty much it uh, before winter comes and I have to swap these wheels out with the stock wheels uh, before winter shows up I promise you all that I will lower it in order to lower it I have to cut away some of this uh, behind the fender flare that I left intact of the metal so I'm gonna have to cut that away and then I can lower it because the only reason because th the only reason that I won't lower it anymore right now is just because I don't want this which is a little bit sharp to cut in and destroy my tires that's a future video we will lower it uh, the front is already pretty low enough but the back needs to be lower anyway i'm gonna end this video off right here thank you everyone for watching this video it's probably really short but um oh well this weekend i am putting the corolla back on stock wheels uh not to get a new set of wheels but just because as a winter set i'm delaying putting the winter wheels on this car just because one i want to lower it again a bit more and two just because like, if it snows and it's, like, really shitty on the roads, I don't have to drive this car. I can drive the Corolla. Also, you may be wondering where the Corolla is because, like, it's not anywhere here. That's because my dad's driving it, uh, and he works out of state, so he's driven the Corolla this week. Uh, he's been driving the Corolla a little bit just because, obviously, I can survive having just the Miata and the Subaru. Uh, hopefully, we can get that back a little bit and then my dad can drive the Camry until it dies hopefully not too soon I can update you guys on that another time uh, thank you everyone for watching until next time goodbye